Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, F Sheikh Excel Master, and I'm your friend Farah Sheikh. And today I'm here with an exciting video and a very important video to understand tables in Excel. And I'll be covering up certain topics like how to create a table, select a table style, format it. We'll do some simple calculation and dynamic updates with charts and how to convert it to the normal range. So my friends, let me tell you what are tables in Excel. It's just all about the data we enter into the Excel in a structured format. As you can see, we have two datas over here. Those are similar data. But if you can see, it is in more representable format. Once we convert the data into a table range and it doesn't look into a representable format. You can do different kind of analysis if you have a data in a table format. Here you can do the analysis, but you need to apply some formulas. The best thing what I like about is converting a data into table is like you can use the structured reference instead of using it as R1 and RC example. Like here we have this date of joining. So it will be calling as structured reference. You can see over here it's saying housing plus transportation plus salary. And when we go here and you see the total, it is taking the cell references name. So it is more structured and more easy and more representable and it looks more professional. Let us quickly see how are we going to convert this set of data into a table range. So first I will highlight the range, the data I would like to convert. I will go insert and I will select the table. Once I select the table, small icon will pop up. Where is the data for your table range? It will ask you the range of your data. So as you can see, I have highlighted the data. So it has automatically set it in that range. But if I would like to change the range, I can set the range by selecting it back again from here. But I would like to select the whole range of data. My tables has headers. Yes, that's true. Employee ID, name, date of joining, city, salary, transportation, housing. Yes, those are my headers. So I would like to keep them as my headers. And once I select OK, we are done here with creating table. Once the data is converted into a table range, as you can see, there is a table tool. And under design, you can give any name to this table. I would like to give employee list. OK. So whenever I will type or I select equals to employee list, it will automatically highlight the whole list. So even if I have a new data, it will dynamically consider that also in the list. Now we are going to see how to select the table style. So select the table. And once you select the table, as you can see, there's a table tool option is enabled go under design and under design there are different style of tables which are presetted and we can make our own table style which i'll be covering up in my future videos i'll select this table style okay here we have so this is the way how we select the table style if you see in the design ribbon there's total row this first column you can make it a different color and the last column and you can put it as a banded columns but I'd like to have it without banded columns you can set the filters you can remove the filters so it will be applicable for the whole range wherever you see your data so this is the way how we are going to select the table style and you can just look into more options over here available you can just check it more options we are going to see the formatting the table as you can see we have a normal data over here which is not converted into table and if you like to do it usually you will select the complete column or highlight them and then you convert it to dollars and once you have a data in a table range you can just select the salary as you can see the arrow showing downwards you just select it and I would like to highlight this whole area and I like to convert into dollar so here we have it into dollars 
and if you like to change the date joining date format and you'd like to keep it as a long date and you can see so whenever I'll put the next entry automatically this formats are available so this column knows that it is in a date format or it's in the dollar format or number format whatever you like now we are going to see a simple calculation where we'll do the total okay as you can see it has automatically taken the last column as highlighted my last column which I tick marked over here earlier so I'd like to remove that one as I mentioned earlier the best thing about the tables it uses a structured reference of the table like if I like to do the sum of salaries it will do the sum of salaries the salary equals to box bracket salary I'll close it so it will automatically highlight it plus I can do it this way also transportation plus the housing as you can see it has auto filled it the data till the last range in my table and I would like to convert it back into the dollars we have the data in dollar and here you can have the sum once you select it to sum you can do the sum we can have a count also the number of entries we have over here and there are other various analysis like you can take the average salaries you can take the max of the transportation so there are other various analysis you can do but I just keep it now only the total column what about if you have a new entry to enter in a table range there's nothing to worry Excel will take all that trouble and it will handle it so once I go to the last records I'll just put the employee number 1284 and then we can add a new employee name Jackie Chan Jackie Chan he joined maybe just recently and he's from Hong Kong and his basic salary is seven thousand dollars so you have seen that I have set already a formula over here okay and it has automatically when it went to the next line it has automatically taken that formula and I have to do nothing I have just entered the salary and it has calculated its transportation and the housing and it has given me his total salary if the similar case was available in the normal range then it would be not possible to have that but in this case then you need to copy paste the formula down but here the Excel have done the job on behalf of us and it has automatically taken the formula what we have given above in the range now we are going to connect a chart to have a more graphical representation of this dynamic range and we are going to see how it will work let me create a chart for you my friends I'll go insert I'll go with the recommended charts there are different suggestions in the chart so I would use this by transportation by housing or by total we'll go by total by cities and we'll select ok so once I selected the chart it will automatically convert into pivot and then we can get the data into graphical representation which are in the charts you know we can see the chart over here and when I go back to my data and if I enter another employee over here as you can see once I've entered it it has automatically taken the formula down and I'll put the employee number as 1234 and call him as Shah Rukh Khan He's an excellent brilliant actor and he joined us on uh, 5th 2008 okay and he's from Mumbai and he's earning $10,000 once you have this data over here and you go back to your graph and you can see the Mumbai total is 59,000 and if I go analyze and refresh the data it has changed to 73 
and there is a change in the graph. So when you have the entries coming up, so you don't need to worry about the range. It will automatically take the data into the range. And so Excel table will take all the pain and you just need to focus on the data entry. You can even do the data validation, which I'll be covering up with my future video. You can use all the functionality in the Excel if the data is in the table. There is no limitation, uh, but it will be in a more organized, in a more professional way, as you can see. To convert the data in the normal range, you need to select a table. You can put your cell anywhere in the table. Just select it, go to design and convert to range. And once you select yes, it will be converted to the normal range. So you can see the structured reference has been removed. Now it has taken the cell references like E14 and, and you can see the formula over here has been changed and this data has been converted into a normal range data. So this is a very important understanding with the tables, my friend. If you understand this table concept, my friends, trust me, it will really save a lot of your time when you are doing the data entry. If you are an internet server, you can share it to the SharePoint where multiple users can do the entry. I hope you guys, you like this video. So please push a like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video. I'll be keep posting more for other videos related to Excel and Microsoft packages. Signing off for the day, your friend. Frashake from F Shake Excel Master.